Angel. Just wants to say hi real quick before we start our class. Isn't that right? We are just taking it easy. We are taking it slow. And this beautiful cat says, have a good class. Have a good class, everyone. I oh, hope you all are having a beautiful day over there. Um, I just got word of a friend passing away, so I am, I guess, more of an acquaintance, not a close friend, but I'm definitely, like, uh, in shock. So that's what's going on with me right now. I know probably a lot of you are going through similar things. Um... So everyone, let's just amp up our heart health. There's a lot of EMF radiation going on. There's a lot of COVID symptoms going on. So I know this is going to sound weird, but I am all about the three Ks, okay? The bio-K, the natural-K, and the vitamin K. I'm not a nutritionist. This is take this all with a grain of salt, sea salt. Um, but my intuition is saying not okay to help break up any, any bad proteins in the body, like from animals pooping that don't need to be around you, if that makes any sense. And then the bio K is to build that gut health. And then the vitamin K, I don't know, you gotta look it up. I forget all that's what that's for, but that's definitely a good thing with selenium that I'm hearing on the street. So we are taking it easy here on earth. Our friends are journeying to other places if they're not here on earth. And are they going to come back? I don't know. Are they just turning into aliens in another dimension and they're going to visit us as like a pink glowing ball? Maybe. What does that look like? Hmm. Will they visit us as kitty cats? Will they visit us as cockroaches? Life is really bizarre. Anyway, let's pay attention to our breath and our heartbeats and our essence. Zone in, zone in, tune into you while I put on these 432 hertz lullabies so that we can chill and take it easy. Shout to Z out to the Natty Lovejoys my good friends who I saw sing at the Botanical Gardens on Friday. And I got this awesome shirt that I'm wearing right now. And they have this awesome song called Taking It Easy that I play on repeat. It's on their new album, Orchestrata. And it goes, take it easy, take, gotta take it slow. Gonna take it easy, gonna take it slow. Yes, we are going to take it easy. We're going to take it slow. Hello, Jabri. I am taking it easy. That's how I am. Giving each other love. We are going to give each other love and take it slow and take it easy. Does that sound good with everyone? What does that mean as far as Qigong? Well, we're going to do our Wu Qigong form. But we're going to ease into class today ease into our naked essence because honestly just taking it easy and just taking it slow is vibrationally removing that mask of ego because the energy the vibration of ego is not chill it's a little bit more higher frequency it's not chill 
So it's kind of like funny, like people are always like raise the frequency and everything, but sometimes you gotta lower the frequency to feel the love vibes because the stress frequency is high vibration sometimes. Nee, 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 nee. Hmm. So just paying attention to your breath is one simple thing that you can do right here, right now that can literally relax every single cell of your body if you let it. Your tailbone, is it squeezing? Your shoulder, is it squeezing? So just focus on your breath and focus on every cell of your body breathing. Tune into you. Tune into your heartbeat. Tune into your breath. What's going on with you? Dear angel, dear heart, baby love. If you can't tune in, then it's kind of like you're an Oreo cookie that can't get to the cream. It's like there's a hard shell around you, and that hard shell is ego. And that hard shell is not a taking it easy, taking it slow vibration. It's a let's go, we gotta do this, we gotta do that vibration. So just try to remove that layer vibrational layer so that you can get to the yummy cream of your natural vibrations. Go in there, explore your headspace. Feel the tension that could have collected around your brain. And let it go away, nice and easy. Just notice that breath. Notice where it's hard to breathe. That's good that you have that awareness. Because that means you can take it easy in that area and slow down and let the breath just go a itsy bitsy bit deeper in that area. Don't push it. have to try to breathe deep you're just noticing your breath and noticing where it's easy to breathe and it just 
allow, of just allowing it to go deeper. Just noticing the breath and notice your heartbeat. Appreciate your heartbeat. The more aware you are of all of your inner vibrations, the more aware you can be of how what is outside of you is affecting your inner vibrations. And that is so important. Thanks for the thumbs up. Because if something is affecting your vibrations, then it is affecting your essence. And it can affect, if something affects your essence, it can influence how you function in every single way. For example, if I took this bowl and I just started shaking it, it'll be a little hard for me to play it in a functional way. Because it was shaking. And you too, when you are completely still, it is so much easier for you to express your gifts. And you're just letting it flow instead of thinking about it and analyzing it and watching it with stress. Just let it be. Your beautiful essence, your beautiful blessing. And just let your energy be without going, oh, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, Ms. Mar? Just gotta play it. I don't think I can play this one. Gotta get the right mouthpiece. So notice your energy all around you and inside of you. Because even when you're excited about something, and this is what I love about Buddhism, and I don't identify as Buddhist or anything in particular, but I like to pick and choose from each teaching what works for me. And what I love about Buddhism is like you don't get too excited. Always try to like stay even for your functionality. Because if you get too excited about something, you're gonna have to balance it out. Like the manic depressive kind of thing. Like yes, it's super fun to be excited about something, just know there's gonna be a crash afterwards. Because you're there's always a low and there's a high. So when you keep things real even and balanced then you don't have to experience the low. Then you don't have to go somewhere that's not exactly in alignment with your energy. Nerves, excitement, you know, all that stuff affects your digestion. And if your digestion is affected, then the blood that is you is not formed as well. It doesn't have as much integrity. And so you won't ultimately feel as good. You won't function as well. The digestion, if you don't have the ability to create something from the amazing building blocks that you have, then it's kind of wasteful. It'd be like if I'm building a foundation with a bunch of rocks and I just start throwing the rocks all around in excitement and so some of the rocks just can't get used for the foundation and maybe I, I'm even shaking so much so that the rocks that I put in that foundation, you know, fell apart. So that's a really good analogy is like think about your stillness like a rock foundation. 
at all times you can kind of connect with yourself and be like, am I solid as a rock? Solid as a rock. And you can go there. That's why I love earth and building. It's so meditative. It's so healing when I'm working with the earth and plaster and the rocks. It's like I can feel how much focus it takes. And so my vibration, my breath, and my heartbeat starts to match that focus of creation. And I get aligned. Keep on noticing your breath and your heartbeats and the amount of tension that might be masked around you like masking tape. And feel the oozy center vibrating out to the world with love. Thanks for the thumbs up, whoever you are. <sighs> so my name is Aviva. Thank you for being on my channel and my intention is to be here for all of you today to show you some Qigong moves and to just take it easy and take it slow with you. <sighs> and whenever you are ready, you may share your intention, Jeffrey, and everyone else. What is your intention today? I'm going to sip my celery juice. Which tastes so much like V8 to me. They put a lot of celery in V8. And too much sodium. All right, Javri, your intention is to be here with you today. And I'm glad to be back in town, so I'd like to focus on my body for you today. Sounds good. And I heard you talking yesterday on my live that you were doing Qigong in the gas stations. That's pretty awesome. On the road again. Any other intentions out there? Let me check my email, because sometimes people can't can't message so i'll put my email here because sometimes folks just you know trying to figure out technology you gotta make an account and all that stuff and they don't want to do that you gotta do that to comment so just email me an intention if you want and also if you want to go ahead and throw me a donation for class that would be freaking amazing but not required but everything helps i've got a catch up and a venmo and that's what it is a-a-t-f-p it stands for aviva and the flying penguins so if there's no more intentions we'll just go ahead and get started with the ones that we've got we're gonna breathe in our intentions Release anything in the way. Breathe in your intentions. Release resistance. Breathe in your intentions. Release resistance. those toes, wiggle the fingers, uh -huh. okay. do a little stretchy, okay. 
Wiggle toes, wiggle fingers, take it slow, stretchy go. And just wiggle around a little bit, wiggle your body and find little grooves and notches that are holding on for dear life and won't let you breathe deep. <sighs> Two. Marching over, contracting. to contract a few times nice and easy. focus on heart energy because that is taking it easy you know like the heart love bubble energy is like just take it easy give someone a hug a cuddle you're gonna bring the index finger down to the bottom of the thumb and connect the thumb with the middle and the ring so I made a boo-boo last Monday. I was like bragging to you all about how much heat I was creating with my chi when I was rubbing my big toe. And I created so much heat that I actually caused a, a heat blister in my thumb. Kind of funny, but a little bit owie. Hi, Mr. Shadow. Are you taking it easy and taking it slow with us? We are doing the heart chakra mudra. Thank you for that thumbs up. That looks like a thumbs up, kind of. So our index finger is at the bottom of the thumb and the thumb is connected with the middle and the ring. And just allow the arms to relax. Allow the shoulders to relax. Go slow. Notice your breath. to hold it up you can just rest your hands down just feel the pressure gently against the pads of your fingers Hold your heart and breathe. Good. 
Now we're going to do the throat area. The throat connects the heart to the brain. So when we slow down, hopefully we're slowing down our brain so it can align more with the heart. And we do this. Left thumb is up. Wrap your right hand around that left thumb. And then the right thumb is up. Relax the hands. And then the right thumb connects with that middle finger. And the fingers kind of come together. And that's it. It's called the Shank Mudra. It's like a sh conch shell. It's used in Indian dancing as well. And it's a mudra to help with your throat energy, your voice box, speaking your truth. And also feeling that highway is not jammed between your head and your heart, feeling like it's flowing, like you're expressing your heart freely, like you're not being criticized by yourself or others for having feelings. Take it easy. Easy mudra. Slow down. Good job. If you're just popping on, feel free to share your intention for class today. We've got about an hour more of nice, juicy, slow, easy qigong. Take it easy today. Take it easy while you drink your water, your celery juice, your tea. Don't rush it. Take it easy while you eat. Don't rush it. We're going to stand up. Don't rush when you stand up. Don't let me catch you rushing. doing every single day. It's a practice you can do every single day. It takes 10 minutes to half an hour, depending on how slow you do it. And you just take your time. We start by doing a move called the beginning of chaos. We bring our feet shoulder width apart. And then we decide which hand is yang and which hand is yin. For women, the right hand is yin. That goes under the belly button. And the other hand is yang. So for men, the left is under the belly button and for women, the right is under the belly button. And 
then you're gonna bend the knees and then you're gonna press in and jiggle. When you do that, your shoulders and your knees come up and down as well. I like relaxing my head back and forth today, but not always, it's just what I feel like doing. So you can add your own variations and just move however it feels good to you. Bring the bottom hand out and the top. When the bottom comes out, your hand is facing up like you are feeling the raindrops in your palms. And then the other hand is facing down. Relax your toes. Lift them up, drop them down. Make sure they're not wrapped in ego cellophane and hardened. Because you want to bite into the cream. Shake, 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 shake. Shake it all out. Shake, shake, shake. And come to stillness. Relax the shoulders. So this is ready position. Your feet are shoulder width apart, your knees are bent. Your hips are aligned with the spine. I'm going to drop that left shoulder down and just let it relax back up. And then the right shoulder down and back. Feel that oozy connection to the chill, chill, chill us.
And let the hands float down like feathers. Sometimes I wake a little bit. Mm -hmm. Feel the energy. so sore. This is what happens when I eat pasta. I try not to eat like wheat because it literally my back gets all sticky from the inside out. But it's so good sometimes. But you can make zucchini pasta like spirals and butter on squash. Right hand on top of the head. Well, yin hand on top of the head, and then the other one. Fingers spread. Feel the energy coming in. This is collecting spirit from heaven. Collecting your gifts and your stillness. Like getting a hug from God. Such a take it easy, take it slow. I just want to hug my pillow. <sighs> All right, 
onto the feet. Feet are shoulder width apart. Lift that left heel and rotate the left knee towards the right. Relax the arms to the side. And the other direction. Drop that heel, lift the other heel up, bending both knees, rotate the right towards the left. I moved my head too much. I must keep it still. Feet together, knees together, ankles together, thighs together. And now like a tree in the wind, we are going to rock back and forth. Letting the arms do whatever you want. Your feet are actually staying on the ground. The heels are on the ground too. You're just shifting the weight back and forth. Absorbing the energy from the earth. Good job. Stretch it out. We're going to go to the next part of the form, but we're taking it slow. We're going to take a couple minutes of break to just chill. And then we're going to come back and do alchemizing humanity. So just chill for a couple minutes. Thank you. 
All right. Last part of this Wuji Gong form, besides the Wuji, we're going to bring our hands up in front of our belly button, about two fists away. Bring the feet again, shoulder width apart. So they're each right under one shoulder. So you're holding this imaginary ball and then you're gonna rotate it in a circle to the left. beautiful people. And now you're going to open up your legs wide. Bend the knees, bring the left arm all the way up to the ear and just let it drop down like a feather. Nice and easy and slow. Back and forth. I'm gonna step away from the screen because I don't have a lot of room here, but hopefully that'll change. Very soon I'm working hard on my studio. Back and forth, people. You got this. I'll be back. Keep doing it. up the good work. I'm going to show you some pretty sunflowers while you're doing it.
Beautiful pigeon people, penguins. Now we're going to reach across the body. So again, the feet are wide apart. Take a break. Look at a flower. We're taking it easy. We're taking it slow. Look at another one. That looks like the one in Colorado in July. All right, so now we're going to bring our arm all the way across the body. Just let it drop down like a feather. All right, I'm gonna step away from the screen. Less radiation. Good job. And now for five minutes, we're going to do the Ruchi. So until about 1230, a little bit before 1230, just let energy flow. Just let it flow. Feel the chi. You got this. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Just a couple more minutes. One more minute of Wuji. Moving freely. Keep going. Congratulations, you finished the Wuji Gong. Let's go ahead and bow out and then we'll do a couple more things. We're just taking it easy. We're going to thank all the lineage holders, Xie Xie Zhongshu, and then all the teachers, Xie Xie Laoshe. Fill your hearts with gratitude and compassion and spread this out to the whole entire world. So easy. So easy to just look at the beauty around us. In it. 
sunflowers everywhere. Boink. So now that we're done with the Wuji Gong, what else can we do that's easy and slow? Shall we crawl up our arm with the other fingers? Nice and easy and slow, giving us a little bit of gentle touch. Take a little. Yes, we can do a foot massage. We'll do this little arm massage first. And then we'll do a little foot massage. And the other one. Little tiny slow spider crawls up your arm. back down. And back up. And back down. And back up. Nice little gentle slow pause. And then the back of the neck. Feels so good. Tickles in a good way or a bad way? Right, little gentle, slow little finger. And on the belly. Nice little belly massage, nice and easy. And just hold the belly. Say, I love you, belly. I appreciate you, belly. You're amazing, belly. Thank you for everything you do, belly. I smile on you, belly and see your belly smiling back at you. The rainbows and unicorns and flying penguins. The belly care bear stare. I'm gonna get a drink. I'll be right back.
Well, it's not really a drink. It's oatmeal with hemp seeds and coriander powder. Oh, and it's dripping and nutmeg. And what is that? Cinnamon. You're pretty. <clears throat> mm. Oh my God, that is so good. That is just what I needed. Sorry, I'm just taking it easy. I'm not being a very strict teacher today. Not that I ever am. We're gonna pull the chair over and before we massage our feet. I don't know, maybe we maybe we will, maybe we won't. Let's see if you guys have any questions as I sip my oatmeal. Or anything you want to share about? Because we're just chilling. I just discovered like the Kodiak high protein thing. So I'm like, oh, I can have oatmeal now. Talk to me. You are welcome, Jebri. Yes, Wednesday we are having class at 1 30. If y'all have any requests for class, let me know. And if you have any needs. I've had some people request post-COVID class to help them with symptoms. So we might do that. Mm, this is delicious. That is so great, Jabra. I'm so proud of you. Mm. This is the best oatmeal I've ever had. There's one packet of maple brown, one packet of cinnamon, probably like two tablespoons of creamy marantha peanut butter, and then all those spices and hemp seeds. Oh my God. That is a take it easy breakfast right there. Mm, mm, mm. Let's massage our feet, shall we? Rotate a few times each toe in both directions and then pull the toe away from the foot. Boinky, 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 boinky. Let me ask you this, Jabri. While you were in New Orleans, did you eat crawfish? Rotate the whole ankle. 
both directions. And then pull the toes back and gently rub the bottom of the feet. Ooh, I don't think I've ever tried catfish. What is it? What did they serve it with? Like what kind of sides? Rub between your toes, please, kitty cat. This is where you can make a fire, but not a a heat blister, hopefully not. Well, between your toesies, take your time. Hmm. I was like imagining green beans with it. How was the catfish prepared? Was it fried? I haven't heard of any other way to like that people have served it before, except fried. All right, hold a point on your foot for 20 seconds, a trigger point. Mm. Did you go and hear some good jazz? All right, now under the knee on the inside of the leg, find another trigger point and hold that for 20 seconds along this line. And then above the knee on the outside of the leg, find a point. Hold that for 20 seconds. Oh, red dresses, huh? And tap up and down. And brush. 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 Tap the bottom of your feet. Nice and easy. Nice and gentle. Okay, other foot. Rotate each toe a few times in each direction. And then pull the toe away from the toe. My feet look disproportionately big. With the camera angle. It was hot, huh? 
I guess it is hotter than here, huh? I mean, it's pretty hot here too. But. All right, rotate the whole angle. Go in the other direction. And bring the toes back. Mm, that's a little bit hotter than it was here. And then rub between your toes. So much energy trapped between those toesies, isn't there? share about it. No one else is talking. We're just chilling, massaging our feet. Massaging feet is the time to talk about it. Maybe not in the other parts of class. Like not in the beginning, maybe. Thanks for being aware of that. All right, find a point on the foot and hold it for 20 seconds. Do another one. All right, now we're going to go below the knee, the inside of the leg. Find a point and hold that for 20 seconds. Above the knee on the outside of the leg, hold a point for 20 seconds. And tap up and down. And now everyone rest for five minutes. Just take a nap.
Dream of the sunflowers. singing to you. I love you. I love you. Taking it easy. We're taking it easy. We're taking it slow. We're in one place. We got nowhere to go. We're just singing to the sky and the sun and we love you. And we're taking it easy, and we're taking it slow, and we're taking it easy. We got nowhere to go. Just rest. You go, 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 when you can just slow, slow, slow. Rest your sleepy heads just for a moment. It's okay. You can do it. Blink, blink. Fluttering, flutter by a butterfly is still taking it easy and taking it slow, even though her wings are flapping so fast. Go to sleep. Thank you. 
like a blossoming flower. Give yourselves a hug. That's you. See your reflection. That's right, it's you. Look at your pretty petals. Look at your mathematics in your core. You're a dancing sunflower. See you Wednesday.